forwards and backwards annotation allows us to synchronize design changes made between a multi-sim schematic and UltiBoard layout. Let's take a look at this feature by transferring a completed schematic to UltiBoard. The transfer process requires creating a synchronization file called a netlist. We'll save our netlist to the desktop. UltiBoard will now open the Import Netlist dialog. This dialog box informs us of all of the nets and components being transferred to UltiBoard from Multisim. In this dialog, we can select an annotated change and via the drop-down box, choose to accept the change or ignore it. Let's make a change at this time. Select the C1 capacitor and change its name from C1 to C underscore XX. This part will now be transferred to UltiBoard with a new name. Once we click OK, we can see that our entire design is transferred to the UltiBoard layout environment. It is populated with the LAN patterns and nets associated with our original multi-SIM schematic. As we zoom in, we can see the naming change to our capacitor. You should note that our designs are no longer in sync. This capacitor is named C1 in multi-SIM, but C underscore XX in UltiBoard. Let's make another change to our design. Select capacitor C6. Let's see where this capacitor exists within multi-SIM by using the cross probing feature. Select transfer and highlight selection in multi-SIM. In multi-SIM, we can see the C6 capacitor highlighted. Return to UltiBoard and delete C6. Our design is now further out of sync. In order to synchronize the design, we need to back annotate the change to multi-SIM. There are two back annotation options in UltiBoard. We can either directly back annotate to multi-SIM or we can save any changes to an intermediate file, this file that can then be used later on to synchronize our design indirectly. At this time, we'll back annotate directly to multi-SIM. Save changes to a synchronization file, in this case, speech filter underscore two, and a dialog will appear, indicating all of the changes that need to be annotated to multi-SIM, including the naming change from C1 to C underscore XX, as well as the deletion of component C6. As we view our multi-SIM schematic, we'll notice C6 has been deleted and C1 has been renamed. Let's make one more change to our design. Let's delete another capacitor. This time, we'll forward annotate the change to UltiBoard through an intermediate synchronization file. This is a helpful feature when collaborating on a design as the synchronization file will update changes on separate computers. We'll save this forward annotation file with an underscore three naming convention. We return to the UltiBoard environment and we can forward annotate the change from the file to delete the capacitor. We simply select the underscore three synchronization file, we notice the change and click OK the component has been deleted. This new forward and backwards annotation process is another reason you can prototype faster with NI Multisim.